Hi YouTube. Today I'll be talking about a little bit about keratosis pilaris. First off, um, I've had keratosis pilaris since I was in fifth grade and over the years it's just been getting worse and worse and I've been through a lot of people joking about it, asking if it's goosebumps, what's wrong with my skin. So I'll be talking about my personal experiences in this log and more information as I do more research. First off, Keratosis pilaris is also known as KP for short. Some people call it goose skin, chicken skin, etc. What is it? Well, what happens is the keratin in the skin forms a, um, a plug around the hair follicle, which forms a bump in the skin, which usually turns red and irritated. It's also usually dry and sometimes itchy, but not usually. It is the keratinization formation in your layer of up, um, upper dermis layer of skin. It's a hereditary disorder, so you probably got it from past family members. And about 40% of the world population has it. What does KP look like? Well, you can see on my skin, mine is really red since it's in the winter time. But you can see it's a lot of like little bumps. It almost look like whiteheads sometimes if the keratin is near the outer layer of the bump. The symptoms usually include slight itching. Mostly it's from visual problems. A lot of people don't like it because, like, you have bright red skin, it's all bumpy. It develops mostly in the back of your arms, also on your legs, your buttocks, your face. It's usually mistaken for acne on your face. It worsens in the dry weather and it gets better in the summer. Or if you live in dry climates, you might have it all year round. Or if you usually just have dry skin, it's going to be worse. Um, people with dry skin usually do have it worse than normal people. And you want to make sure you change your sheets regularly and make sure you're not rough. Because sometimes at night, if you're rubbing against your sheets, it does make it worse. How is KP diagnosed? Well, if you go to the dermatologist, they will just do a visual examination. Other than that, there's no in-depth research they do on it because there's no cure for keratosis pilaris. Treatments, they usually give you a cream called Lacthydrin. It's about $100 a tube. Don't get it. I've tried it. Well, different creams work for different people, but when I tried it, it made my skin red and I didn't really see improvement. Also, you had to wear gloves when you put it on and it is expensive. Um, they also try to give you Retin-A Micro. I hated it. That was, wasn't too expensive, but it made my skin very red. I would try it for a month. It smelled bad first off. And it made my skin smooth, but my skin, I went off of it a couple weeks ago, and it's, it's bright red. But the main thing you want to focus on is moisturizing your skin. In the shower, you can use in shower body lotions, um, you know, moisturize throughout the day to make sure that the skin does not get dry, especially during the winter time. Also, you can try tanning, but that's not so, also not good for you because you don't want to get skin cancer. But in the other blogs, I'll talk about different treatments you can do and more information about KP. And I'll tell you what I've used and what's worked and failed for me. I've tried almost everything there is. So stay tuned, and I'll post some more videos within the next couple weeks. And hopefully you'll watch them.